Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to another video. It is Vibes here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can get points in tournaments or like gain points, um, get within the top 10,000, anything you want to call it, uh, get PR, stuff like that. Anyway, guys, let's get right into this. Okay guys, so to do well, first thing you gotta do is have a good trio. For example, these are the placements I got with my trio in the Hype Cup. I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, it's not that much, you only got 106 points. But we placed within the top 10,000. That's what I'm trying to show you guys. We got top 10%, which gave us each about a little over 200 hype, which isn't that bad. That actually got me into Division 7. This game um, that you're watching right now is like uh, 10 or so games before I got into Vid Division 7, something like that. Uh, this is the day of the Hype Cup. But, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to have a good trio. Um, so, my trio has pretty good chemistry. That wasn't my like actual trio, because my actual trio wasn't playing the tournament. But we had really good chemistry during that tournament. Um, and yeah. And guys, so, first thing, you have to have a good trio. Now, the second thing is, you gotta know the scoring. So guys, these tournaments are very placement heavy. As you can see in the trio's cash cup, everywhere from top 17 to about top 6 is 1 point, And then top 5 to top 2 is 2 points. And then I forget what victory is, because I am not looking at that picture right now. But, yeah, so these tournaments are very placement heavy, especially since you only get 1 um point per kill so I would really suggest going as much placement as you can in this tournament uh, I showed you the cash cup but the hype cup is the exact same if you are not in champs um, and yeah so you have to know the scoring which that is the scoring it's like pretty simple pretty easy to follow um, nothing too much so, I just suggest really going full out placements, because a win is like 25 points. So, if you, like, if you're a trio, you're in top 10, you kill two trios and get the win. That, right there, is 31 points in a game. Um, yeah, 31 points in a game. So, that is very good. Uh, so, th Therefore, I would very much suggest going full placement. It will really help you guys. Um, and, yeah. So, guys, the next thing we need to talk about is drop spot. Drop spots are very important. If you guys are that type to W key, I would suggest going somewhere like Lazy that has a few players off spawn, but not too many, then getting kills later in the game. If you're somebody who goes placement, I have a lot of places you could go Homely Hills, either of the weather stations, Caddy Corner, um, Steamy Stacks, Craggy Cliffs, um, Camp Cod, Fort Crumpet, and really any unnamed place, and those few named places that I just named. Um, also for W King, you could go Pleasant. That would be very good. If you guys want to just take every single fight, if you guys think you can fight Salty Towers and win, by all means, go for it. But that is not the way to win this tournament. These tournaments are placement heavy. The more placements you get, the better you will perform in the tournament. You might be like, oh, well, if you get a lot of placement, that means you're a bad player. No, it doesn't. It means you're playing smart. So, guys, these tournaments are very placement heavy, so you should really go for placements. Um, now, the next thing that you guys are going to need to do is think about your game strategy, which I've already talked about that placement or aggressive. I suggest if you guys are running really low on time and you have and you don't have enough time to use all 10 games, go a little aggro some games but that's about it and guys I would really suggest that you get bounties bounties 
are very good. Not necessarily just for the kills, but it will show you guys where a specific player is on the map or the general location so that you can avoid players, especially if you're playing placement. You're going to want to avoid players more than W key. So getting a bounty, it's not going to lose gold if you don't complete it. It's just they're going to gain gold, which that doesn't really matter because it's not too much. It's like 20 per person or something. Um, yeah, which isn't even enough to upgrade a weapon, I don't think. So, guys, I'd say that's about all that you need to know. If this video did help you guys, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Also, if you placed within the top 10,000 in the next tournament, also do that. Um, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.